Here in this command, we've decided to ensure that diversity and inclusion is ingrained into the fiber of everything that we do. Uh, I see that when I'm crisscrossing the country uh, and meeting with our senior leaders, meeting with our airmen, and they convey to me and articulate to me that this is something that is definitely needed. You know, I know we've talked about this many times, and that's sharing how much we care for each member and do our best to create an environment where they look forward to being in, they're valued, they're respected. Can you talk about some of the specific programs and things we've done that have uh, gotten some pretty good traction with our Vice Wing Commanders being in charge and implementing some of these things uh, that you talked about? We're working in concert in unison with our, our active component. Uh, they put out guidance uh, initiatives that state that we should have uh, CDIOs, program managers at our wings. Uh, uh, but we've been leading the way in that area. We have close to 10,000 people trained. And the value that they've seen is that now they want to utilize our three-day program managers course as possible certification for their uh, chief diversity officers prior to them taking on those duties at their wings. So kudos to us. We're working in unison with our counterparts in the active component, and we're seeing how this diversity picture is now coming into play. What we want to do in the command, however, is this. We don't want this to be another program that's going to come and go. We want it to be a way of life, sustainable, no matter who's sitting in the seats. So that's what we're striving to achieve. A lot of people believe that in order to execute DNI initiatives, you have to have rank, status, position, a certain color, a certain gender. Uh, none of those things are true because we believe that if an individual is personable, if they care about others, if they have a desire to ensure that everyone is treated fair and equally, then those are the type of people that we want on our team that be to, to execute this mission. Not all barriers can be removed, and those may be systemic in nature and not intentional, uh, but where there's an opportunity for us to correct a wrong, to, to correct a, a process or a procedure that is hindering someone, that is a barrier to someone, we're working on those things. But we are fully engaged in ensuring that every citizen airman is afforded every opportunity to place their log on the fire. That is to ensure that this mission continues and that we, again, are the best war fighters on the planet. People catch that passion, that commitment that you've mentioned our, we as a leadership team have, you have in engaging, and that we value each member of the team, that they feel included, you know, their voice is heard. There's a place for them to, to contribute because we're going to need everybody.